So in preparation of doing our final render, let's go ahead and smooth all these objects. Um, just to select one of the objects, go to Object Mode, and go to Mesh Smooth. And you're going to want to probably leave this at one iteration, and then do the same for the other objects in your scene. These may not look too good, I don't know, we'll try it. Now notice when we smooth the hammer objects, we're going to have some problems. In particular, with the um, shaft part of the hammer, it pinches down here at the end. So let's um, select the handle and move it out of the way. And I want you to notice what happened to our pivot point. It's way out here. Sometimes the pivot point gets, pivot points get a little weird when you combine objects. So, and then separate them again. So to put the pivot back where it needs to be, just go to Modify, Center Pivot. And then let's move that out. Let's take this and move it out. And notice how it's pinched the ends of this cylinder. That's because there are no control loops around the end of the cylinder. So let's um, undo that smoothing that we applied here. I think I smoothed it by accident at some point. There we go. And then let's move them again, center this pivot again. I'm just going to move this. Okay, now what we need to do to fix this, we could put some control loops around the end here, but I don't want to do that because there's no need to. A better thing to do is to switch to face mode and select these end faces. And remember, an easy way to do that is to select the, the uh, cylinder faces too and then deselect them like so. And then just delete those faces. And we'll do the same thing for the other end. And when we smooth this now, it will be just fine. So let's go to object mode and smooth it. You can see now it doesn't pinch. And we can move it back into place like so. Now with this one, we're going to need some control loops. We can use Smooth Preview by pushing 2 on the keyboard to get an idea of what we need to do. And we need a control loop around here and around here. So let's use the Multicut tool and hold down control and put a control loop right as close as you can to that corner. And then to put one around on this corner, let's use the uh, Connect Components tool. So I'm going to switch to my Select tool and select all of these edges. I need to switch to Edge mode. Select all of these edges here. Make sure I have them all selected. And then I'm going to Shift, right click, and select uh, Connect Components. And that gives me an edge here. And then what I want to do is move this edge up closer here. I can't really use the scale tool to do that. And if I move it, I collapse my mesh. So I want to be able to move this up close here. Now the best way to do that is to use edge constraint. Now remember our tool settings. I'm going to select my move tool. And I'm going to bring up the tool settings. If you don't see yours docked, you can double click them bring them up. Just double click and it'll bring them up. And we're going to select Transform Constraint Edge. And when I do that, now when I move this edge, you see it sticks to the, it sticks to the other edges and doesn't collapse the mesh. So I'm going to move both of these really close to um, that corner. And now when we smooth this, you can see that it doesn't collapse. And that is what we want. So let's move this back together here. And let's go ahead and smooth each one of these objects permanently. Mesh smooth. Mesh smooth. Mesh smooth. And 
I think I unsmoothed a lot of these, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth them again. Okay, now I really don't know what these are going to look like when we uh, smooth them. It made this, this geometry here on the end that's all weird like that it may cause a problem, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some lights and uh, set up our render. And I think that we will do that in the next video. And I'll see you then.